Welcome back, True Believers. This is Raktar, and today I'm going to be playing some more Nido Cutie Wrath of the White Witch. I am in the Ivory Tower, home of the White Witch. Shit is getting real. As you can see, there's like some fully evolved Mighty Mites in this place. I have yet to step in, a foot into this place. You may notice my levels are Gigantorg right now, that like. I am actually ridiculously powerful, and I'm way more powerful than I was when I, um, came into this place. Well, that's because I'm gonna pick up this cut loose. Wait, pick it up, pick it up, don't let Marcosin get it. There we go. Supercharge! Alright, but yeah, so, I actually went and did a few things before I came back here. Firstly, I went and did a bunch of boring-ass quests so I could get, um... Like, I went and did a bunch of, like, the just give feelings to people quests and stuff, and the reason I did that was so I could get an ability called Jack the Giant Slayer, and what that does, um, it's one of the merit rewards, and basically it gives you 100 extra HP and 100 extra MP, so I was like, that would be really good. I also bought an ability from the merit system that gives you extra experience, and then I went and I grinded, actually, for just a couple hours, but you may be like, how'd you go up like 20 levels in a couple hours? Well, let me show you. There's this little enemy in right outside of Perdita. It's a random rare spawn. And uh, it's this guy. I actually caught one. By the way, interesting story. If you catch one of these things, they take forever to level up. Like, look at how much experience it takes. Like, uh, where's something at the bottom? Thunderbird's got... 10,000 experience left. This guy's got 57,000 experience left and he's halfway through his bar. But his stats go up really fast. Like, I think what's gonna happen... Look at his evasion and magic defense is insane. I think what happens with this guy is you can make him really awesome if you're willing to put the time in. And I might be because... So basically, these guys give 8,000 experience per kill. And so the grinding went a lot faster than one might expect the grinding to go. So, um, I don't know, it worked out pretty well. Come on! And like I said, I was able to, um, sort of catch it, put it on my team. And the reason it's funny, oh, they're using Darkness Beckons. Fuck that move. I hope it doesn't work. It didn't work. All right, good. So what's interesting is I caught that thing, put it on my team, um, and I sort of brought it around with me while I was training, but I haven't used it or anything. I just want to see, like, what happens when it levels up, so... I don't know, I'm bringing it around with me, but yeah. In case you're wondering... Oh, I also did all the bounty hunts. That's how I got a lot of stuff, too. So just in case, like, it crossed your mind to wonder... Like, how my characters have, like, leveled up so much, and... Why their levels are, like, so goddamn... Goddamn blibbly bigger than they were before. That's what I've done. I've also, um, you'll notice... Uh, well, you may notice, you may have noticed, that Marcosin's guy is the next form. Uh, that's because he became metamorphable, so I metamorphed him. I realized that metamorphing pretty actually... I know, I mean, I know it's awesome, of course it's awesome, but... Um, I never kind of had a feeling of when a monster is back up to the point that it was before you metamorphed it. I feel like it's around level 20, maybe. That's my... I'm not 100% sure about that, but I feel it around, at least with Jules, at least with uh, Marcosin's main squeeze. He was pretty much ready to get back into the action by the time he hit level, um, by the time he hit level 30, or level like 25. So I don't know, if you ever sit there being like, when will this guy be usable again? I feel like in a lot of cases, 25-ish, 35-ish is a really... It's a really likely time that things will be able to be completely usable again. And now that I've been... Oh no, what the... Whoa, dude. Some of the enemies in here look awesome. Like, I actually want to, like, catch that Paladin Partridge right there. Because it's got, like, armor built into its uh, character model, which is really cool. Also, this fucking Astral Lynx I should try and kill, because the Astral Lynx is definitely healing the other mans right now, which is annoying as all that is fucked. Alright, there we go. Oh my gosh. Get- eat- eat shit, Paladin Partridge. But seriously, these, uh, these designs of these familiars are so cool. But I know these are guys that I could have caught earlier, because there's Astral Lynxes, or much earlier in the game, but... They don't have, like, cool face masks on and shit. These guys are awesome! Also, by the way, I, I will point out... Um, oh shit. 
Esther leveled up. That's perfect. So I don't need to use a cappuccino. Well, I was about to use a cappuccino and point out, you'll notice I've got like, um, where are they? 39 cappuccinos. That's because I had a shit ton of money from all the grinding. I guess I'll just, man, this place is so big. Maybe I should just go straight for the star. I had a sh I had a crap ass ass. I had a crap ton of money after all the grinding that I did. And basically, oh, I want these. I want these so badly. Um, no, no, actually, go after, go after her, and oh no, no, go all out attack. Oh shit. Okay. So yeah, I have like a billion. I have one billion of the uh, cappuccinos. It was easy to get all the money for them with what the fuck is oh. Why is she using him? He has no weapons on. I mean, he did quite a bit of damage just now. I guess, like, when you're at a certain level, it doesn't even matter if you don't have a fucking weapon on, but still. I should only have people on my teams now that I want to use. Although, I mean, I do have... I mean, his stats are pretty high. He's a pretty good caster, and also I just noticed that Esther's dead. That means Darkness Beckons must have happened. Darkness Beckons is that move that, um... It's an instant kill. It has. It doesn't have a huge chance of hitting, but when it does hit, it causes instant death to the to its target. Kind of a ridiculous move, but it didn't really matter. Uh, I'm reasonably well leveled for this place. I finally feel like I'm leveled up enough for a place for once. Like I feel like I've actually done a proper amount of training. What is this thing? It looks like it has some sort of significance. Oh, it does. What the... Huij! Where did it port port me to? What the fuck? Well, huh. It port ported me to some random spot, but I'm sure there will be more significance to this. Because, like, look down there. There's teleporters all over this place. Well, maybe this one has no significance right now, and maybe there will be like a bridge in front of that thing a little bit later. I have no idea, but whatever. We are here exploring the Palace of the White Witch. Now, one thing I do know, I have gotten a, a wee bit of spoilers about this place, and that is in terms of the spoilers that I have gotten about this place, there is one other boss left uh, besides the White Witch. Doesn't look like there's anything over there, so... I'm not even going to bother with that stupid bitch that's chasing me right now. So there's one other boss besides the White Witch, and I don't know who it is. And I'm kind of excited to find out what... Maybe it's Gallus, but Gallus, like, whoa, 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 that robot came after me. I kind of want to fight it. I'm doing it. I've heard, I heard these are hard, but... I want to do it. I want to do it so bad. Okay, this could this! have turned out to be the mistake. Let's go into Oliver. Let's go into Spells. Let's go into Unleash. We want to deal some storm damage. Bolt from the blue! Whoa, whoa! Dude, that dick just fucking canceled my bolt from the blue! Alright, hit with his heat ray. There we go, here we go. Let's see what this guy's really got. I just want to get, like, see what a big chunk of damage does to this thing and see if it's really that hard. Alright, so that'll probably do extra damage. Oh no, that does weakened damage. Um, maybe water damage will do extra to these guys. I feel like back in the day, storm damage did extra to, like, robotic things, but now it doesn't. I know that, uh, physical damage will be debuffed, so we should try... Water damage. Howling... Howling Blizzard! Alright, Howling Blizzard. Let's see if that does extra damage. I'm sorry I'm like... Ripping out the summons. I'm very curious what these guys... Bring to the table and how to deal extra damage to them. Oh, Howling Blizzard. Okay, so... Okay, okay. These guys aren't... These guys aren't too beefy. I could probably just... Take them on with my normal on taking strats. As long as he's only going after, uh, me, that's fine. Yeah, dude, this guy ain't no thing. And so, hey, these are those robots, by the way, in case you are crazy and you don't recognize them from earlier in the game, um, that are... These are the robots that 
Blimey, that was a flippin' nasty surprise. Took years off my life. It did. No one said anything about the getting attacked by these dirty giant robots. Saw them lying about all over the place, looking like they had their batteries taken out. I never thought we'd be... Oh, see, they're talking about what I was talking about. Gee, you could be right. Well, whatever their game is, all I know is that they're a flipping menace. So yeah, uh, you... So those robots, by the way, people have told me via comments and messages, they think that... Um, the idea with those robots is that they are, like... You can go back in the game, and... You can fight them later, like... You can go back after you've beaten the game, and there's extra quests, and one of them has to do with these robots. Come Wait, on. is this guy different than the one... Oh, he is. Well, shit. So maybe they get harder. I thought that one seemed... I thought that that first guy seemed a little bit easy for, like, the fact that he's a freaking Gigantor robot. Maybe what is in order here... Except for, no, this guy's not that hard either, but he does have a lot of... He does have, um... He does have bigger shit. Like, he's bigger. Or maybe I'm crazy. I'll have to look in the recording and find out if this guy is, like, a bigger robot. But I totally feel like this guy is totally a bigger robot, but I could be... I could be rather mistaken. Alright. Well, whatever. They don't even get that much experience compared to the 8,000 or whatever that I'm used to. But because, like I said, the little Toki Tokis that I have... The guy that I actually have on my team, he gives 8,000 per kill when you find the rare spawns of him. And there's one in here, and I'm gonna try and show it. There's a rare spawn like the Toki Toki. Look, I don't feel guilty using, uh, mana restorative items anymore on Esther during the dungeons because I, it's not gonna fucking ruin everything like it used to. Alright, we'll give her the small one and we'll give her the big one. Alright, cool. So, yeah, um, something about those. Oh, Sprite Dew, cool. That's for health, but I think I'll have enough mana in the upcoming battles that health won't turn out to be too important. I really... I really am curious about the robots that are, like, littered about the world, but at the same time, I don't want to spend, like, too much time on that shit. I want to search around for boxes in this place, but it's... freaking gigantic, and it's got... Look at that! Oh! <gasps> Cocktease! Wait. Can I get to that? That is not a cocktease. Whoa! You can see the whole, the entire nuclear reactor from up here. I can see my house from up here. That is really far down, dude. At first, I thought this was like a cocktease save point, but it's totally not. I didn't even need to use those mana restorative items because of this randomly placed save point over here. Holy shit! So I'm wondering now if there's if I just went to randomly placed save point. If that means random boss encounter is coming up, so this is a dead end. Neato, neato, lemon squido. All right, and I'm sure one of these robots is not going to be just okay with me being here. Okay, fuck bro. What do I know? Everything all right, Peabock? It's Doodle Doo. It's Gallus. The queen, she cannot yet be saved. A barrier surrounds her heart, one formed in the depth of her isolation. I can do it. So you mean you want to try again, little one? I fear you will not stand much chance alone. I'm not alone. Can- what? Can this dude not see us? And you're sure about this, P. You would stake all upon this boy. God, Gallus, I want to learn more about you. Although I think I've come to the theory that all of the counselors are actually a part of the White Witch. Because the way they intro- <laughs> Honor the oh, it is Gallus! Let me put your powers to the test. Holy shit! It's Gallus. I don't know if this fight is going to be a challenge or Show not a challenge. Of your power. I kind of knew that this was coming up, though, because I just hit a save point. Let's just fucking whoop out my dude. I already know that Gallus has multiple forms, because I know that pretty much, like, every boss at this point in the game has multiple forms. I should probably be using Warcry. Oh. Oh, I canceled. Yeah, bitch. Canceled. Oh, no, no. I canceled your stupid attack. How do you feel now? I shouldn't be using Warcry during my chance, though. I should be using my chance to deal the sweet, sweet dips. Oh, hey, there's a. Get it. Get it. Get it. Supercharged. All right. Here we go. Slash dance. Gonna do some rock and roll damage to Gallus. But, so, I did, that was pretty cool that I actually cancelled his fucking move. I guess I should just, whoa, 439. Alright. Fuck you, Gallus. 
You, why should I have to prove myself to you? You're supposed to be on our side, man. You're the dude. Oh, um, defend. I don't know what this move is gonna do. Okay, it wasn't that bad, but look, he dropped a... Ollie boys, is it just me or does he do a different attack when his aura changes color? I reckon, okay, great. Thanks. Knowing what type's coming may help you choose familiar with the right affinity for each color. Well, since I get out of there and get the thing supercharged. Here we go. Here comes another chunk of damage you weren't expecting, biatch. You didn't know what was happening. All right. So I guess I, I mean, technically I have my flame affinity guy out right now. I do have Gunter, but it's like if I defend, what does it matter if I use a guy with the right affinity, right? Oh shit. All right, we're gonna get some war cry. Oh, did he just cancel out my war cry? That fuck. That dumb fuck. Actually, it's smart to cancel out my war cry since it's gonna rip the dips on him, but. Oh, so he's got green. Adorable ammo? Except for I'd rather just. I'd rather just do this. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right, whatever. Whatever. My defending strategy seemed to work better, but yeah, I guess Adora Blama would technically be his, like, his aura turns green right there, so... Um, Warcry! Warcry! Hopefully I can rip the dips on this guy. I don't wanna... Okay, he's using a thing. He's doing a thing. I don't even... Oh, it's absolute zero. That means Gunter would be good, but I think that defending... Oh, shit! I missed the defend! Oh, no! Oh, no! Nobody defended! This could be terrible. That wasn't too bad. I I have enough levels, but he does... Oh, shit. He puts, like, a, a little ice on the ground. That's annoying as fuck. All right, let's pull out my boy Money Mayhem. Hopefully, deal some more dips. I feel like I could maybe speed this up with um, some magic spells, but I really... I feel like there's sort of this thing where if I don't do this... Okay, here we go. Oh, hold the judgment. Nice to defend you. Dude, he should have since everyone like got the D. Not everyone got the dick. Everyone everyone took a dick just now. Since everyone defended right, he should have given me another Oh. Whatever. Fucking defend. Just everyone defend. Don't even worry about what's happening. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm I'm kicking ass on the defense right now. I think Gallus would be nice to Psych up! Go wild! Dude. I realized the problem with Go Wild. Look at these huge numbers that Gunter's dealing right now. But the trouble is that um, he doesn't. I'm waiting for him to do his stupid move. Is he gonna do it or not? There we go. Defend. Oh, the only one defending is Oliver. That's okay. Whatever. I don't even care. Or did everyone else? Nope. Yep. Oliver was in fact the only one that defended from his move just now. Let's get out to Money Mayhem. Dude, I should probably be doing something to try and deal damage faster, but it's like at the same time, I just want my mana to be full when he does his next thing. All right, Bolt of Judgment! Yeah, that's right, bitch. Your Bolt of Judgment does nothing to those who rock. To those about to rock, we salute you. Hey, how's Esther doing on mana? She's doing okay. She's keeping us healed. Our life is not. We, oh, all right, Terra, Inferma. Whatever, defend. Everyone defend. I don't know who he's casting it on. Oh, it looks like this spell he only casts on one person. Earlier I was talking about my problem with Gunter, by the way. So the problem with Gunter is that, so I psych up, and Gunter can deal shit, shit ass loads of damage. But, um, the thing is, even though Gunter can deal shit ass loads of damage, oh look, nobody even got hit. Your move sucks. Even though Gunter can deal shit ass loads of damage, he just doesn't have good defense. That's something I noticed the other day. Was I was like, why does Gunter always suck whenever I pull him out? Oh shit, he was... Whatever. It's too late now. No, it's not actually. I can still use it. Defend. Oh, look. You can actually get out of it. Like, holy shit. This guy's moves are just like dodgeable. Like old school, traditional... Dodge by the seat of your pants dodging. The way that dodging was meant to be done. I'm kind of wondering right now what Gallus' second form is going to be. I'm probably, honestly, when I get to Gallus' second form, I'm just going to fucking start spamming Even Star on him. Like, I don't even... I don't even... Alright, let's... Dude, we're going to get... Okay, we're going to Warcry and... And... Oh, what's he... 
shit, I didn't see he was casting Absolute Zero because I wasn't facing him. Well, here we go. Take some damage, but luckily I was about to say, Gunter... Gunter is resistant against that element. Alright. I was gonna say, let's Warcry and Psych up, and hopefully we'll get some big bonus damage. But the problem is he moves around way too fucking much. Oh. Oliver, defend. Is he using it on me? Yep. He only uses it on one person, so I mean, it's not its not like his other moves where he does shit that matters. Alright. Ugh! Eat my shit, Gallus! You're gonna die a long, slow, lonely, painful death. Um... Hmm... Dude, you know what? The thing about Bolt of Judgment is... You can just get it out of it. Look at this. Everyone, do what I do. My team, don't actually try to worry about what's happening. Just get the fuck out of his move. Dude, while I've got Warcry on... Oh, I don't have my new move on. Alright, whatever. We'll just keep on doing it the normal way. I have to remember to go in to rechange my tricks. I, I, um, because I leveled up so much, I got some crazy new tricks on Money Mayhem right now that I think are really gonna rock every enemy's world. Oh, here comes this move again. Oh, I guess as long as I know he who he's aiming for... Oh, he's not aiming for me. Oh, he is aiming for me. Why does he only aim for one person with that? I don't care. It works out great for me, so... Alright, psych up! We're gonna go wild on Gallus until he's dead! I'm going to fight you! And I'm going to kill you until you're dead. Today! You know what's funny though? I still know he has a second, um... A second form after this. Oh, fuck. I was hoping that I would just take him out before he absolute zeroed there with an all-out attack. But I failed. Just nobody step in the... Nobody step in the shit. There we go. Alright, now it's time to see... Gallus' second form! What do you got, Gallus? I know you have a second form. Don't hold out on me. Oh, what? No second form for Gallus? That was it? Gallus. Don't hold out the D on me. I know you've got some other tricks under that sleeve. Excellent. That's your, your ghost? Oh, okay, now we're gonna fight. Oh, ho, ho. A wand? Oh my god, now we know what these dudes are. They're the souls inside. I gave you Mornstar that you might find your way to me, the child likewise. What do you mean likewise? The queen banished P to your world, Oliver. I had her I had to meet you there to show you the gateway to ours. Tree is a sky tree, thus greater you the considerable power wand made from a sky tree? You mean that stick I found? Yes. Doodle Doo gave it to me. P led you to this world and she has continued to lead you all the way here. So you're so are you not a member of her council? I work for no one. This mask, this gallus, this is a necessary pretense, nothing more. I ena it enabled me to get close to her, to watch over her, to protect my daughter. <gasps> the, 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 the. Gallus is a dude. She called down the mana with the best of intentions, and despair was her reward. It was only then that she became the White Witch, as you now know her. Now my beloved daughter cannot see the darkness that engulfs her. She is lost and alone in a world of her own making. It pains me that it should have to come to this. I had hoped I might make her see the error of her ways, but it proved too great a task for a mere spirit. Use this wand to crush all evil that has enveloped the heart. Displace her mask. Reveal the innocent princess whose face it hides. Am I about to get a new weapon? Oh ho ho! Doodle doo! Gallus is gone. P's dad, technically, I guess, in a sort of twisted way. That's who that was. Astra. We have to save the white... No, we have to save Cassiopeia. And now I can open, like, the purplest of chests. No purple chest will stand in my way. So, I'm, I mean, I'm sure that's just, like, auto-equipped, but I just want to go fucking check it out. What? Okay, where is... Astra. Oh no, it's not auto-equipped. But look at that, it's got way better stats than Mornstar. Equip Astra. Alright, I've got Astra equipped and now we're gonna find out what lies deep within the depths of the White Witch's... ...Pastle... ...Castle... I, I tried to combine the words Palace and Castle and it came out Pastle, which is... ...unfortunately not a word. Oh, whoa. We got a big, big guy coming in 10 o'clock. We got a bogey on our tail. 
What the fuck, dude? This guy, I swear, these the, they do, in fact, look more and more menacing. This is Mega Mech, Magimech Master. But dude, the other two did not put up too much of a fight, so you know what, whatever. I don't even give a fuck about Magimech Master, although he does do more damage than previous Magimechs. He doesn't seem to have what it takes to defeat a Master Wizard. Oh, this move might prove to be... Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, I mean, it did a lot of damage, but... Things seem to turn out for the best. I was... Oh, get out of defend. Get into War Cry. I'm gonna use War Cry. And hopefully deal some extra damage to this piece of shit. This Magimech Master. Oh, he's gonna Raygun. Oh, of course he's Raygunning Esther. He knows who my healer is. He's onto us. Oh, by the way. Oh. Twinkle Twinkle is a move that you might want to defend. I didn't mention it before, but it does. We did it! Damage to everybody and is not devastating, but it's not amazingly nice to get hit by. But whatever. Hopefully I don't... Even if I do, I think you can just, like... Oh, no. You can't get away from these guys easily. Dude, fuck that noise. I should be able to catch Magimech Master as, like, a familiar of my very... I should be able to catch Magimech Master to be a familiar all my very own. But no. <gasps> there it is! This thing, right here. Oh, my God. This is... You'll... So you may notice that this uh, thing waddling around looks an awful lot like this thing, except for it's probably the next level up. So the trick is, oh, he's running. Damn it. Damn it. He's gonna get away. He's, he got away. Shit. So that's the rare spawn. I should have waited for him to like point himself into this corner, but... So that thing will give you, I think, 24,000 experience if you beat it. So everyone, my whole team would basically be guaranteed a level gain if I had bought, beaten that just now. So yeah, that's a rare spawn. It can spawn pretty much, I think, anywhere in this whole area. Oh, dude, I gotta get it. Get your tail. Oh, I'm not even going, dude. Look at this shit. I'm not even going towards what I'm supposed to be going towards right now. I'm just going towards a red chest with a bottle of tonic. You know, the thing is, I don't even want tonics right now. What I really want is like, um, I want stuff that restores my mana, but obviously the game tries to make stuff that restores your mana much more of a rarity because they don't want you getting like they don't want you getting nice shit left and right in this game which is totally fair also that owl looks a lot like Nechku or Lechku from the game Okami I don't know if you ever played Okami but that's who that owl really looks a lot like to me I just thought I would point that out it bears a striking similarity oh mighty light I don't even know oh that's gonna deal light damage to all my enemies Fuck you, Lemur Face Plus. Oh, I can catch Beam Man right now if I wanted. Oh, he's gonna put everybody to sleep. That little shithead. Luckily, he missed... Who did he miss? Me! He missed Money Mayhem. Perfect. That's the guy I wanted him to miss. All right. Who... Who is still alive? Sharpshooter... Oh, and I I Catcher. That is a weird name. His name should be Lemur Face Plus, because that's obviously what he is, is Lemur Face Plus, but... Oh, dude, Esther, why are you asleep, you stupid... I want to beat this guy before Money Mayhem runs out, but it's not going to happen. Well, whatever. He's dead. He's dead now. No fucks are given by me. Death in death, you will find life. I don't even know what that means, but basically it means you're dead. All right, let's heal up, everybody. I'm not going to go for the cappuccino now because I feel like there's an outside chance that maybe if I don't go for the cappuccino that I'll still get a chance to um heal up Esther here in the in the very near future. Is there a box down that way? Oh, this thing's going to run from me anyway. Well, there's no box. So, uh, like I said, I I, I want to go for boxes and stuff, but I don't know. They're just not like all over the place like I was hoping for. Oh, do we have a new level of robot here? I suspect we will. Oh, no, no, that's just the same. It's the same dudes. Magimech Master. Damn it, I did have to use some cappuccinos on Esther. Man, I'm really hoping to uh, pick up a level here before I get to the White Witch. But I'm just at such a high level that no amount of experience is giving me levels right now. My hope is that maybe I'll run into... Oh, there's another level of Magimech Master? Oh my god. Dude, this place is ridiculous. And look at these guys. They're huge. Can I run from them? I don't even like... Oh, nope. I don't want to like battle them just because they're so gigantic. What are they called? Watch this. What is your name, dude? Magimech Sentry. All right, whatever. 
They can't be that much worse. This kind of now makes me realize why my brother, when he was um, telling me about this place, he was like, you should go get the move that allows you to avoid battles just because there's so many. But it's like, at the same time, part of me doesn't care that there's so many dudes because I want to level up um, some more and hopefully Magimek Sentry will offer the sweet, sweet X EXP games that I need, that, I, that a man craves in order to level up. And that a man craves in order to mash his X button until this Mega Max Century is dead. It's not Mega, it's Magia. It's Magimek. It's a magical, mechanical Century. Alright, cool beans. And let's see if these guys... Oh, they give more experience, but nobody... Nobody leveled up from it or anything. They're no Toki Toki, that's for sure. Dude, shit's getting pretty intense, I feel like, now. I'm, like, approaching the final battle. I beat Gallus. I beat the White Witch's father. Oh, dude. Look up, look up there. Am I the only person that thinks that that clearly resembles an area where a final battle would take place? Also, everything's afraid of me now. Oh, am I going the wrong way? Am I going the wrong way? I think I am. How did I end up getting turned around like that? Who cares? What's over here? Dude, what a cock tease. There's nothing over there. Which, I mean, you can, if you just like look over, you can sort of like see that there's nothing over there. But I thought they wouldn't, like, do such a cock tease as to, oh, but there's one over there. There's definitely a place over there that you can get to. Still, though, that first one, that was, like, cock tease central. But, and I walked all the way over there. I should have just known that because I couldn't see anything, that there was going to be nothing over there. Whatever. I don't even care. I'm over it. Now I'm fighting splatter horns. Splatterhorn A and Splatterhorn B, and the owl that looks like the owl from Okami, which you'll have to like look up Lechku and Nechku to know what the fuck I'm talking about. But this owl totally looks like that. Holy fuck wrinkles. The item that was over there, look at this shit. Wizard King Secret fully restores HP and MP to all allies. That item, like, I was a little annoyed that you have to like walk across that ledge and do like the whole sneaky bit. But that item was totally worth it! That is so good! Maybe I'll need it against the White Witch. Holy shit, wandering the halls of this giant enemy-filled gorgeous-ass castle makes me wonder, where the fuck is the White Witch? Although I'm sure one of these guys has something to say about me. Running through this hallway, let's battle! Dude, those Magimek sentries aren't so hot. I don't care if they are awesome robots that were built by some crazy queen who lives up in a tower of, that floats above. Oh. Oh. Musicless. Alright, this is what I've been waiting for. This is the big one. This is the end of this episode. In the next. I'm like drawing it out too long. In the next episode, it's probably a witch that is not white. Or that is not black. <laughs> Damn it. There's probably the white witch named Cassiopeia behind that door. We got battler. This is, I'm trying to like rev things up. Ah, battle with the final. This has been Ragnar. Thank you for watching.